Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing full flared umbrella tunic top or kurti. Follow same method and make variation in lengths to make top, tunic top, kurti or dress. So let's get started. This is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I'm using 2.5 meter rayon fabric. The most important thing in cutting umbrella top or kurti is the fold of fabric. I have folded the fabric by half in length. Now hold one corner and join it to the opposite side. Now this will be the length of the top and now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder take half of shoulder width. In my measurement shoulder width is 15 inch so half of it is 7.5 inch. Measure and mark shoulder where you get the same measurement. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point mark half of armhole round. In my measurement armhole round is 15 inch so half of it is 7.5 inch. I'll just extend this point. From the shoulder, mark a point at 11 inch shoulder to burst point. 15 inch shoulder to waist and 22 inch shoulder to hip. Now I'll extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurement. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 37 inch. 37 plus 2 is 39 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 9.75 inch. For burst, I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 40 inch. 40 plus 4 is 44 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 11. For waist, again I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 33 inch. 33 plus 4 is 37. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 9.25 inch. From the top, I'll mark the length that is 38 inch. Adding 1 inch for seam allowance. So I've marked a point at 39 inch. Measure the same from the top. This is 48 inch. Now mark the same measurement till the other end. Now if you want fitted measurement, mark these round measurements and join waist point to the bottom. Else join chest point to the bottom directly. I am taking full width of fabric. You can take it as per your choice. Adding seam allowance. Mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point.
Now I'll draw armhole curves. So marking is complete. Now I'll cut it. For front, I'm making curved V-shaped neckline. Neck width is 3 inch. Neck depth is 7 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again, mark neck width point and join these points. Now I'll draw neckline shape. And now I'll cut it. For back I'm making round shape. Neck width is same 3 inch. Neck depth is 6 inch. Adding half inch for seam allowance. Again, mark neck width point and join these points. I'll draw round shape and cut it. With this cutting off my tunic top is completed, I'll share its stitching in my next video. Thanks for watching guys, hope you like this video, if you do please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon till then take care bye bye.